Um, I guess as I've gotten, I'm, I'm 52. So as I've gotten older, it means more to me than it did when I was younger. And I guess, uh, it's important to be able to be who your, your authentic self, which I think when I was younger was less important to me. Um, but as I get older, I realize how important it is to be able to express who you are and be, uh, comfortable in your own skin. And so I think pride is really a manifestation of that. And it's an ability for everyone, whether you're gay or straight or um, black, white, any any color, um, to express your authentic self. So it's a great day, and you know it's just one day out of the year, which is kind of sad. But um, it's a chance for people to really um, embrace who they are and feel comfortable with themselves. So that's what it means to me, and I think it's it's great and it's wonderful that this year this is the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. And it's also World Pride. And so I think there are 4 million people in New York City for this event, which is pretty awesome. So I think it's great. And yeah, so um, I think it's great. And one of the things I always loved about Williams was that since it's a small school, I remember when I went there, um, you really got to know everyone in your own class. And as a result, you didn't just hang out with people that were like you, which is what you tend to do when you're younger. Um, so that's what I did when I first showed up when I was 18 years old. But by the time I graduated as a senior, I knew pretty much everyone in my class. So I knew people that grew up in um, cities. I, I didn't grow up in a large city. I knew people from different countries. I knew people that were black. I knew people that were Asian. Um, I knew people that were um, from South America. I didn't know any of that when I was when I showed up. So. It was a great way to get to know lots of people. And I wasn't out when I was at Williams, um, but I knew gay people when I was at Williams. And it felt like when I graduated in 1988, a very comfortable place. And so I'm not surprised that Williams is here to celebrate pride because I always felt the school is very inclusive and this just manifests itself today in 2019, which is almost 35 years after I graduated. I graduated from Williams in 1988, and I always found, for me, the school was a very open and inclusive place. Surprisingly, you wouldn't necessarily think that, and the reason was is that it's a very small school. So when I showed up as a freshman from upstate New York, uh, from a public school there, I was I hung out with people that were just like me. But by the time that I graduated four years later, I knew everyone in my class. So that meant I knew people from different countries, I knew people um, that were black, I knew people that were Asian, and I didn't just know them, I mean, they were my good friends. And that's the wonderful thing about a small school. So roll that forward to 2019, Gay Pride in New York, I'm not surprised that Williams is here um, because it's always been a place that connects with alums and I'm still connected to Williams in a very deep way. So I'm delighted that Williams is here and I'm glad that there's a very strong, um, uh, connection to the gay uh, and trans world and you know allies of gays at Williams and that didn't exist when I when I was there but I'm not surprised that it exists today <laughs>